Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Brene Barella Gutierrez, and I will be the hearing officer for the hearing that we have this afternoon on the liquor license application. Um, just want to make sure we have everybody present that we need. Alex, does it look like everybody's here? Yes, I see Mr. Bonal and also Mr. Thompson. Okay. All right, Hello, then. Um, yeah. Hello, thank you for joining us. Yes, um, thank you for having us. Yep. We'll go ahead and start the hearing. Alex, if you can present the application, please. Yes, ma'am. Item 2A on the agenda is request from Hotel Flora LLC for the following. Item one is pursuant to section 60-6B-10 NMSA 1978, consideration of a waiver of the 300 foot location restriction to allow the sale of alcohol at Hotel Flora 400 Market Street, which is within 300 feet of, San of New Mexico School for the Arts located at 500 Montezuma Avenue. And number two, if the waiver of the 300 foot location restriction is granted, consideration of a request for a transfer of ownership and location of interlocal dispenser liquor license number 2683 from Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar number 6401, Albuquerque, New Mexico, to Hotel Flora, 400 Market Street, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay, thank you, Alex. And uh, who do we have this afternoon on behalf of the applicant? Grace, you're, you're muted. Is he on video or on? Oh, there we go. But I can't hear him. Um, Mr. Bonal, can you say something? We see you. I, I can't hear you, though. OK, I'm going to try to go ahead and mute him. And then if he can just unmute himself and see if that will work. How about now, Mr. Bonal? Uh, he's speaking, but we still can't hear him. He might not be connected to a microphone. No, we did a little dry run with Teams a second ago to make sure we could all see each other and talk, but uh, it's always it's always a problem half the time, it's isn't it? Yeah, it's a challenge. So let's give him a minute, see if he can um, work on his microphone. Thank you. Do they have a dial-in option that he can just call in? Or is he yeah. might just dial in on this? And that would be fine. Although it looks like he's telling jokes and I wanna know what he's what joke he's telling. Oh, phone number is on the agenda. What is the number? And I'll text it to him. So it is to Zoom meeting using a phone. It's going to be 1669. Hold on. 1669. 444. Yep. 9171. Okay. And then I have a meeting ID and a passcode as well. Okay. So that meeting ID? Yep. It's going to be 813-0581. Yep. Okay. 5390. Is that it? And then the passcode? Hold on. Let me read that back to you. 813-058-15390. Yes, sir. And the passcode? Is going to be nine nine two two eight six one. Is there anything I could maybe help with while we're waiting for Grace? 
know if he's going to be the representative on behalf of the application. We can wait for him. Okay, perfect. And there he is entering the phone right now. Okay, I'm in, but they said I can't. They said I can't. We can hear you. Okay, okay, okay good. Thank you, Mr. Bonal, for joining us. <laughs> okay, Maria. Um, could, um, I'm going to ask that our clerk swear you in before we move forward. Okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Bonal, please raise your right hand and state your name. Maurice P. Bonal. Do you solemnly declare and affirm that the testimony you have in reference to this item shall be the truth and nothing but the truth and do this under the penalties of perjury? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bonal. Uh, again, I'm the hearing office. And I did have the opportunity to, to take a look at the application that was submitted. And do um, uh, you have anything to yeah, add at this time? No, other than the application itself, if there's any questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll note that uh, you did request a waiver and a letter was received from New Mexico School for the Arts supporting the application. That's correct. That's correct. And as your application moves forward, please note that the two conditions of approval. Yes, the I first do. one that you obtain all necessary permits and licenses and comply with fire building land use codes. I understand you don't have a, a business license yet. That's correct. Uh, and that's, that's, go ahead, go ahead, Tim. Yeah, that's correct. And the, and the applicant is, is currently working on that with the city. Okay, no problem. The second condition will be that you comply with all city orders. Does the applicant have any objection to those two conditions of approval? I, I think I better leave them. I think uh, I'm. I think I'm too close to my uh, my computer. Yeah, there's a little bit of feedback. I'm getting some feedback. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Bonal, I just identified two conditions that will be attached to the application. Um, that's did correct. you hear both of them? Yes. Yes. And does the applicant have any objection to complying with both of those conditions? Then you can respond. Absolutely not. No. Okay, that's fine. Then um, your application, I will prepare a report and your application will move forward to the governing body at their next available meeting. And that is May the 8th, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I want to thank both of you, Mr. Thompson and Mr. Bonal, for appearing at the hearing this afternoon. I appreciate okay. your time and your energy in getting to the meeting. You're very, very, very welcome. Just a note, I used to be a city councilor in another century. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Your application will be. Okay. Thanks a lot, well, everybody. Thank